Hey y'all, good morning, what's up? So of course, I have been up for a while. Um, I got back from the park not too long ago. Um, just spending time with God, you know? I tried to find the place that I went to yesterday, but I couldn't find it. So let's hope tomorrow I got better luck. Um, but anywho, today is going to be a different type of a prophetic word. This is a prophetic word. So a word for the brokenhearted, literally a word for the brokenhearted. And what I mean by brokenhearted, brokenhearted can mean a, a plethora of things. Or if you guys know what plethora mean, a wide range of things. Did I just say plethora is a plethora? I think it's plethora or is it plethora? Y'all know what I'm trying to say. A, a wide variety of things. Okay. So, um, it could be you're suffering from a broken heart because maybe you feel that God has not delivered on certain promises at whatever time frame it was that you were expecting. So your heart is kind of broken from that because you kind of feel like God didn't keep his word, but we know that God delivers on his timing and not our timing. So hopefully that provides you comfort. Uh, some people you may have um, recently left a relationship or it may be a relationship that you're just having trouble getting rid of. Like you might've been out of this relationship for a minute now but you're just having trouble like releasing that pain um releasing that hurt um this word definitely is for those parents that have lost children um especially we are coming upon like the holiday season and you see a lot of families hanging out together and whatnot and as i share i lost my dad on my fifth birthday so from childhood on up holidays like I was with family but not really it looked kind of different and then it's like once I turned 18 it was like I practically spent almost every holiday alone like every now and again I would be with a friend and whatnot but I was just talking to God about this this morning like sometimes you know we're grateful for those people that we have around us still the people that are like hey we know you don't have anyone to come like to hang out with on these holidays so come hang out with us but I'm trying not to get too emotional, but it's different. It hits different when the people that you want to be there are not there. You know what I mean? Like, and I'm one of those people where it's like, I don't know what strength God has given me because no matter what happens, I'm just able to power through it. But it's like, I don't even think of how many holidays I've made it through just alone and didn't think twice about it it's just another day and I know that that's God's strength that he gives me but I also know that we are all made different we're all struggling and fighting different battles so um last night when I was praying for someone um and also many people that have suffered like losses of children and things like that this song came onto my heart so of course y'all know we're gonna go song prayer then the word song prayer then the word um, but anywho, this song, I have not sung this song since I was a junior in high school. When I was a junior in high school, well, when I was in high school, I spent my summers on a pre I mean, on a, a campus doing a pre-college program. So, um, first two years, it was like ACT prep. And then like my junior year, that's when I did my pharmacy internship, but they would have like the talent show. That was like the last time that I actually sang in like a show, like a competition. And then I would do, um the gospel choir and there was this song and God brought it to me as I was praying and I couldn't remember all the words I could just remember though you are heavy laden and I was just like you know so I started kept singing it and then eventually the whole song came to me so first I'm gonna sing this song and then say a quick prayer and then get into the word okay Keep on believing, God will answer prayers. Keep on believing, never despair. Though you are heavy laden and burdened down. Remember God still loves you And he always answers prayers One more time Keep on believing 
God will answer prayers. Keep on believing. Never despair. Though you are heavy laden and burdened down with care, remember God still loves you and He always answers prayer. And He always answers this prayer and he always answers prayer dear lord my heavenly father we thank you for waking us up this morning lord god we give you honor we give you all the glory and we give you all the praise god you are such a great god you are such a merciful god and we thank you for for giving us the many times that we have fallen, Lord God, to pick us up, Lord God, and to give us the strength to keep running this race, Lord God. God, I pray that the people that are struggling with a broken heart in this hour, Lord God, I pray that your presence and um and closes them. I pray that you can provide them with a great comfort so that they may know that as they are entering this season, Lord God, although they may be physically alone in spirit, they are not alone, Lord God. You are right there with them, holding them, Lord God, rocking them, Lord God, being their rock for you are our protection, God, and you are able to provide a strength that not that no man can ever do on his own, Lord God. So I pray that you increase their strength, Lord God, in this hour to power through this season, to power through the depressing thoughts, to power through the shoulda, coulda, wouldas, Lord God. I just pray that they are able to see that they are still here, God, and that they still have a purpose and that the person that passed away or the person that has left them, Lord God, that they can continue to just pray that their heart is lifted in this hour, Lord God. And I pray that you are lifting their hearts so that they can hear you more clearly, so that they can serve you better. In the name of Jesus, I seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. So you guys know... Um, the song I just sang. So God led me to Matthew 11 and 28. King James Version. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God does not want his children to weigh down their hearts by carrying burdens that they can hand over to him. From the heart, the mouth speaks. Luke 6, 45 tells us that. And if our hearts are heavy and burdened with pain, sorrow, fear, and doubt, it not only spews from our mouth and speaks death over our life, but it also interferes with our ability to hear God and his voice correctly. And I know you guys know Proverbs 18, 21, that says life and death is in the power of the tongue. So sometimes what you say could not add life to your situation. It can actually add more depth. That is why we had Ezekiel in the Valley of Dry Bones speak life and the uh, bones started to turn into ligaments and flesh. And then they turned back into the animals. All right, back to it. But it also interferes with our ability to hear God and his voice correctly. As I write this, God is confirming this more in my spirit. Cast your worries aside for the Lord will wash, cleanse, and make all things new. Know that the Lord is with those who are weary and contrite in spirit. Psalms 34, 18 assures us that God takes concerns of the heart very seriously. In this hour, give everything weighing and holding you down to him. Allow God to give you a new heart and a new spirit as he details in Ezekiel 36 and 26. And I will give you a new heart and I will put a new spirit in you. Give all matters concerning the heart to him. Free yourself from the pain so you can pray more effectively and hear his voice with increased clarity. This is God's promise to you. I pray that this prophetic word blesses you guys and those that are broken hearted. Just know, though you are heavy laden and burdened down with care. Remember, God still loves you. Me too. And he always answers prayers. Have a great day, guys. I love y'all.